What the heck is that? Wonders, oh wonders of the world. So many wonders to behold. So many questions in my mind. So many questions, so little time. Answers so so easily come. Unless you know to ask someone who is a master of the trade. Ask them how clouds get their shape. Welcome to What the Heck is That with David Shaventura. Welcome, everyone. I cannot wait to share this special episode with all of you. You all know me from What the Heck is That, but today we have something a little different from our normal show. Usually, I am the one asking the question, but today I will be the one being asked the question by Ben. Some of you might already know about my experience becoming a typer, but I have not really sure that yet on my show. So today, I want to show you all one my life is really like as a typer. My life has changed a lot in the last few years, and it's be all because of this way that I can communicate. I hope that you enjoy seeing all the work that goes into an episode. Stephanie, can you tell us who you are and a little bit about what typing is? Absolutely. My name is Stephanie and I am David's communication partner. David asked me to talk a little bit about what facilitated communication is and how he uses it to express himself to the world before he comes on and talks um, more from his own personal experience of using FC. So the method of typing that David uses is called facilitated communication or often referred to as FC. So what exactly is FC? Facilitated communication is a form of alternative and augmented communication or AAC in which people with disabilities and communication impairments um, express themselves using pointing sometimes to objects or pictures or letter boards or in David's case, he actually uses a keyboard that is loaded up on an app on his iPad and this app is specifically made for communication. The method involves a communication partner like myself who may provide emotional support, communication encouragement. Um, we will monitor the keyboard to make sure that there are no typos. We always wanna make sure that the typer is looking at the keyboard and not distracted. Um, and we offer a variety of physical supports. For example, we want to make sure that we are slowing or stabilizing movements. Um, we want to inhibit impulsive pointing or we want to encourage the person to initiate typing, but we never move or lead the person while they are typing. So I have been working with David since 2018, so going on four years now. David actually did learn to type with another communication partner. Her name is Lindsay Goodrich. And when I jumped in, David already had a lot of the communication skills that we typically have to teach to people. So he was very conversational. He's always been that way. Um, and he's really good about initiating his own typing, which means that when you're having a conversation with him, you know he's ready because he's lifting up his arm to let you know that he's ready, he has something to say instead of us having to prompt him to say something. Um, and over time, he has really taken control over how he uses his typing. So in the beginning, it was really just a way to talk about his wants and needs or talk about his day or talk about how he was feeling. And um, now he really uses it to control pretty much every aspect of his life. He gets to pick his own classes, he fully participates in a music program, and he writes his own original music pieces. So David really does it all. Uh, and David has said it before, but it's very, very true in his case. Typing really has changed his entire life. 
So now I will let him tell you a little bit about his experience and how he has used facilitated communication to connect with the world. Let me introduce you to Ben, my friend. Hello, I'm Ben. David, why do you type if you speak? The way I speak, the words that I say are usually ones I have been staying saying forever. Those just stay forever, and I can think that find the words that say it. Sometimes I am singing or saying something and I not actually meaning to or sometimes I think yes, but say no. It can be annoying. I also think that tapping slows my thoughts to be able to talk about them. What did it feel like to type for the first time? It felt very small at first. It didn't feel like something that won't actually change my life. Mom knew, I think, it was very emotional for her. And we didn't do big things at the start. We will read and work on really different stuffs. How has your life changed since typing? The biggest part has been finding what I want to say and do with my life. But also I have a lot of responsibilities. I have to think about things. I think another thing is that I have people that I can really connect with because I can be in the conversation that leads me to my next point. I want to say that it's funny when you are in a conversation you don't want to be in. It is still, it's so nice to be involved. At first typing felt like work and it would make me so tired. It took a while before I learned the power. I mean the power of my thoughts turned into words and not just stuck anymore. So how did you learn to type? I learned to type from my first communication partner, Lindsay. We will read together and she will ask me about what we read. But you know what? Lindsay made me feel like she knew that I had all the answers. That is the biggest thing, knowing that trust your intelligence. When she taught me, she would hold onto my words and tell me to push toward my letters. That was at first until we moved to my elbow. I have even gotten really good with my right or left hands. At first, tapping felt like work and it would make me so tired. Check out this video from when I started and you will see what I am talking about. I'll pull back. Here you go, PL. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got it. P L A. All right, David, how is typing different from speaking for you? When, when I am talking, I don't have to think at all. When I am typing, I have to think the whole time. I just don't think about my speech. It's so hard to explain, but yeah, and relaxation to something. It's not a thought I have usually that stuff. I don't have to think about. It just a response. When something else happens, I have a lot to say when I am typing. I have to think about it, like hold on to my words because I think faster than I can type and when I back up a bunch, I am trying to get back like I got to fall away. My brain gets ahead of my typing it is a very tiring. 
how long does it take for you to type something? It depends. I want people to know that I don't use two hands to type. I use one finger so it is not fast. When I have something to say or write lyrics, I can type fast. My energy level really affects my typing. For example, when I am writing a quick email, it is like five minutes. But all the script for my show can take hours. Now, may I ask, why do you have a communication partner? It is something that does a lot for me because I have a lot of thoughts. I have to control it all to work, like I need that kind of energy to match it. Like staying focused and not just staying in my head, maybe just the energy I can copy that. I copy Stephanie energies. Mine is not metal, but static. Why do you need physical support when you are typing? I think what I want to say is that I have a lot that my body does without me telling it to. I am impatient. I speak through everything. Part of why I need support is to slow down and stay stable. Very good. All right, David, do you write your own scripts and lyrics? Yes, I am working more on writing original lyrics. That is my big goal, I think. I am a person who doesn't always like thinking about the future because it is unknown. I don't know that I will use typing in my music career and lot. I think I will keep writing script too. That is really where I get to have fun. What is the most rewarding thing about typing? The most rewarding thing is having control of choices about how I want to spend my life. I get to pick everything now, and my life has a lot more meaning because of it. One of the most rewarding things is seeing how people react when they hear my song's lyrics. What have you accomplished with your typing? I want everything myself that include lyrics from my original songs and everything you hear me say on my interviews. David, who wrote this script? David! Nice. Everything on my social media is written by me. I want my script out way before we film the interview so I have time to practice. Over time, the whole writing process has gotten faster. I have always been into TV shows with a great host, so I think writing my script comes naturally. How do you see yourself as a typer in the future? And what is next for you? Really, who knows? These days, I can try anything I want. All I have to do is say so. I am learning piano and maybe will decide to learn another instrument. I want to have a real job in music one day. The possibility are endless. Thank you everyone for watching. This has been my first episode about myself and the first time sharing this story of topping with you all. I am a different person because I can type these words and songs and shows. I know that everything changed with communication. This is why I have the life I have today. Don't forget that everyone has a lot to say and that means everyone. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs> wonders of the world. So many wonders to behold. So many questions in my mind. So many questions, so little time. Answers so so easily come. Unless you know to ask someone who is a master of the trade. Ask them how clouds get their shape. Welcome to What the Heck Is That with David Shiventura.